Welcome everyone. Let's take a look at a very quick example on how can we create a better mesh. On the first one I'm gonna just let the software do whatever it wants and on the second one we're gonna tweak it a little bit and let's see how it's gonna come out. Let's get started. So on this one I'm gonna just go to model, uh, not model, mesh, mesh control, seed it, seed uh, size on surface, this one select the surface, OK, just uh, leave the whatever this is, the default, there you go, that's the word I was looking for, that's it, and now we're going to go ahead and mesh it, geometry, surface, that one, OK, property, oh, we don't have, we need to set up our properties first, OK, let's do that, let's go to, we need to set up some kind of material, so otherwise it'll just create dummy meshes, so, gonna come it there let's do real fast uh, 60 e9 0.33 okay model property we're working with plates so I'm gonna create uh, plate elements plate okay point I don't know, 15 and uh, okay that's it Okay, there you go. Now we can go back to mesh, mesh geometry, surface, that one. Okay, because here, see, this is it was important because we need the what kind of property. So P1, the one we just defined. I'm gonna do it with quads. Okay, and there you have it. This is our mesh. And see, the software will do it, whatever. But this is not the prettiest. Okay, so let's see if we can do a better job over here. As we can see right now, we only have one geometry here. Let's uh, do Control Q, turn all labels off, and let only the surfaces be numbered, right? So we have only one surface here. So to do a better mesh, we could partition it into several pieces that will help the software when it calculates to guide it better. So let's go to geometry, curve, line, um, let's do vertical and here we'll pick let's see let's do, I want to do a midpoint so I want to do the midpoint of this and okay okay that's good and we're gonna take uh, let's go to geometry mid surface trim with curve this one I want to trim okay and trim it with this one okay and now as you can see right away this is why I uh, had the surfaces highlighted because now we can visually confirm that this had become two separate surfaces right we have this three and four okay let's do the same in the other directions uh, line curve let's do horizontal I'm gonna leave it with the midpoint, right? And okay, and I'm gonna do this one. Now we have it like that. Let's do the same partitioning. Uh, mid surface trim with curve. I wanna trim this one and this one. Let's see, can it do both? I think it should be. Okay, and I wanna do it with this one. And okay, there you have it. You see the visual clue that you just got? Instead of 3 and 4, now we have 3, 4, 5, 6. There you go, we have 4 pieces already. Now, I want to do some more partitioning. So, curve line, project points, enter first location for project line, uh, locate. Let's see, we'll locate in work plane. No, this one. Which one? Let's see. Come on, come on. Intersector onto surface. Uh, on point. There you go. On point. From this one. Okay. And the second one over here. Okay. There you have it. That's what I wanted. Let's do another one. The other direction. This one. Okay. This one. Okay. Cancel. That's good enough for now. So let's do some slicing again. Mid surface, trim with curve. I want to trim this one and this one with this curve. 
Okay, there you go, your visual cue, and it's split, right? Now let's continue. I will split this one and this one with this curve. Boom. And again, nice and okay, we split all this up, right? Now let's smash it. Let's see what the, uh, the geometry, what uh, the software is going to come up with this time. Uh, size on surface. This, 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 and this. Okay. Highlight it to make sure you don't miss any. Okay. Leave the default. Okay. See it meshed it. Okay. Cancel. Let's go mesh geometry on surface. This, 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 and this. Whew. Okay, there you go. Okay, uh, with the P1, the, the plate elements that we leave this one. Okay, and there you go. A bit more better looking mesh, probably. Or if you don't like that, there you go. Let's go back. Control Z, get rid of it. Mesh, geometry on surface. You can, instead of one by one, if you have a lot of them, you can do a box select. Okay. And instead of quads, let's do try. Okay. There you go. Right? I would argue that, for example, this one is much better than that one. Alright, there you go. Quick video on meshing. Hope you learned something. Have a good one, like and subscribe.